Hey, hey, courier, you smell that? I've been smelling the same scent everywhere we go and it's growing stronger. Hello there. Holy fuck, I think I just shit my loincloth. Where did he come from? He literally materialized between those Brahmin while we were watching this free gun show. But wait. Ah, yes. I recognize his horrendous unbathed stench. That's the smell of a loser who gets no bitches, so he resorts to masturbating to the curviest objects he finds. Probably even us while he was stalking our trail. I bet he never wipes the cum off his hands and proceeds to snail trail people like a sick prank. Tell him to fuck off or I'll shove my fist in his ear and pull out his pathetic excuse for a brain. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. You must have traveled through fire and war, you numb skull, but that isn't going to stop me from telling you that asking to trade with us is the most imbecilic thing you could ever do. We are going to kill you, Malcolm, and loot your corpse. But we won't stop there. We are going to teabag you a few times. Then shoot off your all your limbs. Then maybe toss them around out of boredom while we won't even remember your name. You're just the fetcher who brought me a new quest and five fancy caps. So once again, courier, I'm asking you to tell this fucking creep to leave. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Okay. You're a dangerous sort. I get that. You're goddamn right. I'd ask you to say my name again, but you're too fucking stupid to produce the electrical current in your neurons to even formulate an action outside of being an ignorant stalker. But you know what really grinds my gears? Churns my butter? Locks my scrib? You lied. There is nothing more in existence that I hate than a dirty, no-good piece of shit perineum munching armpit sucking earlobe biting jerking off behind the rock over there while I plow Sharon Cassidy fucking weirdo. Say one more goddamn thing to me and so help the creators of your existence because they will be back in your offending presence again. But I have some information I think you'll find useful which made me follow you for a spell. I am Dagoth or the God. What possible piece of information could your feeble mind have acquired that I wouldn't already know, huh? Is it how to walk into a shitty situation and still be the most obnoxious person there? Is it how to sit on your hand to jerk off with so you can feel like you have had company for once in your spit-swallowing, boot-licking life? No, no. Wait. I bet it's how to talk yourself out of jumping off the nearest bridge you see because every time you look down the scope of your weapon just for a split second you see your own hideous visage and have to face the fact that you're the worst thing to happen to the planet Earth since the bombs fell. Suck my fucking dick, you sorry excuse for a homunculi. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it. So, I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. You figured? You figured? Bitch, please. You couldn't figure out one plus one if you had a Pip-Boy with a calculator attachment. It's wondrous how your brain operates on such an inconceivably lower level than even the dumbest fire gecko yet still tries to rationalize the actions of a god. One neuron firing in my brain would send enough information that the computers at NASA would fucking explode. Even if you had a million years to study, you wouldn't even be able to begin to rationalize why I would perform the simplest of actions like fucking your brain-dead atomic crater-sized mother. Fine. Just do me a favor. If you find more of those things and plan on keeping them, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed more than a few people to collect as many of those caps as he can, and your ignorance as to what they are won't protect you. What did you just say to me? What in the frank diddly fuck did you just say to me? Ignorant? Ignorant? I'll fucking snap your goddamn neck like a Pez dispenser and drink your spinal fluid like it's the candy. I dare you. Say it again, bitch. I fucking dare you. You came to this place where destiny is made, but tonight yours will be ended by this courier's hands. Courier pull out the gunrunner's fat man with fucking Merv and little tot shot. I want this fucker to get showered in death. <laughs>